Okay, so um, next up we've got Krina um, Kostan, who's our B3 panel convener. Hello everyone, I will take you from the above the ground, from under the ground to the ground. <laughs> I'm going to take you through the substations and electrical installations report this year. Um, just uh, what is substations and electrical installation? It's, it is a point where everything here converges. Uh, all, your, all your working groups, all your A's and B's and C's and D's. If I could use Angela's example with the kitchen and the bell, we are the kitchen where you guys are in all the other rooms and I need to bring everything together. Substations has more than 23 topics and subjects. We need to make sure we can integrate all this and also at the same time catch up with the transition, um, energy transition where you know, we're dealing with best systems. We're dealing with all these um, sort of substations but not substations. So we, we are in a constant um, catch up mode. So, um, so I will present you what we have done this year and last year and what is the plan for the next year. Um, so here we go. The scope I have already covered, so we are an end-to-end, -end, it's an end-to-end -end subject. Um, we, we, are in, we are investing time in planning, implementing, testing, uh, maintenance, and asset, man asset management. Uh, it's a great focus lately on um, sustainability and social licensing in substations. So this is a new topic that we are uh, focusing in our current uh, preferential subjects for next year and the years to come. How are we structured? So similar to the other panels, we, we have like four pillars. We have four advisory groups. Our chairman, Mr. Koji Kawakita, and we have our secretary, uh, Samuel Nifu from RTE France. And then we have the four advisory groups. So we actually concentrate our work on, um, so we do the concept designs and developments. We have AIS, GIS, and then asset management. Uh, the picture here says it all. Uh, what you see in, in yellow is uh, all our current working groups. What you see in yellow with a red little um, around it, it's, it's what we've started recently. And the blue means a joint uh, group with our other, other panels, where B3 is the leading group. And the one in gray is another joint where we are not the leading group. And then we also have a special uh, project, which is a green book on SF6. Um, a little bit about B3, in case you don't know, we have uh, worldwide 356 members. Um, the leader in like, like active, most actives is Germany, followed by United States, um, and then followed by Japan. Um, I, I'm just going to tell, tell you something very quickly about Japan. Maybe I'll get three minutes, Grace. Um, um, I've asked Japan how do they go because they always have amazing papers um, and very, very, very detailed and a lot of, um, a lot of um, science behind it. And they explained to me their, their panel, the national sea grade, similar to Australian, like how we are structured here, again, 16 panels. But they also have attached an, an R&D, a research and development center. So all their ideas about how to do things better or anything that becoming a new technology, it's taken through their R&D center, which I think it's a great idea. So, so moving, moving on, uh, again, I don't have too many words on the slides. Uh, I just have more pictures. So this is showing our publications 2022-2023. The highlight for me on this one is actually the risk, um, fire risk management in substations. Uh, we had recently significant fires in substations and we're trying to learn how to do this better without compromising um, the space, the footprint of the subs, because obviously you can uh, you know, space them more and more apart, but the cost um, is disproportionate to the, to, the, to the benefits we can show people up front. Um, and well, one which probably you have heard of it, and it's, it's probably not technical, it's called knowledge transfer of substations. Um, so there was a seminar, a tutorial in Cairns as well, this is the first time we actually produce such a brochure and it's looking at the new generation and how we can transfer knowledge. So 
a lot of we had a good response and a lot of people attended uh, Paris. We had one, one seminar in Paris and a, se and a, and a tutorial in, in Cairns. Um, that's about what we published. We, ha we had a strategic uh, meeting in our, our way towards 2030, and I think the key, key for substations is the, uh, dealing with the energy transition. So all our preferential subjects that are for 2024 for Paris and then the, all the focus we have in, in, in trying to express the, the content of the preferential subject is looking at energy transition. Key, key newcomers, again, is the, op, like it's been mentioned today, the offshore wind farms, the PVs, the influence of hydrogen, f hydrogen hubs, uh, the small modular reactors, I'm not sure you hear the media, but yeah, this is the a move towards the nuclear power stations, a different move, if you like. Electric vehicles, charging infrastructure, and how that affects, um, affects the way we do substations. And again, uh, energy storage systems, synchronous condensers, they are all new things for us. We're seeing a, a shift into MVDC, uh, substations, DC substations, which I find them fascinating. And I look forward to see what happens next with that. Um, here, like everyone else, I will be showing you our active working groups. We have a good presence from our Australian um, panel members in those ones. They look a little bit more than the ones you saw before. That's because some of their brochures, technical brochures, did not finish within the two to three year time frame. Um, this is our, our subjects for Paris next year. Again, the same theme, it's about energy transition and the impact of the new incomers into the, into the uh, connection to substations. And again, a lot of focus on environmental and sustainability, which I think it's a great focus. We had a colloquium in Birmingham at that time. This was the draft of the preferential subjects, but then later on the, the Birmingham um, did happen. Um, this was a joint B3A3 with focus on non-SF6 gas. Um, then, we, then it came Cairns again, end-to-end, -end, um, the end-to-end -end, uh, electricity system transition. We have um, we had two or three preferential subjects there, mainly just going along the, th the main theme, the end-to-end, -end, learning from experience, developing practices, and towards a sustainable power system. Our program, we had uh, our study committee B3 annual meeting held in, in Cairns. We had two tutorials, which I mentioned before, and we have our panel sessions on Thursday. This was our team there with uh, some observers from our panel. This is a, a screenshot of our tutorial on knowledge sharing. So the brochure issued in 2022, uh, very good, very good, uh, well, well received uh, from everyone. This is something I'm quite uh, sort of, thank you, I'll finish. Um, this is about designing substations for severe climate changes. And so for some reason in 2016, when this, 15, when this uh, brochure was issued, we left uh, seismic and earthquake out. Uh, now we have created a, a working group on earthquake impact. With that one on all the other s severe climate conditions, we hope we put together a good package because we actually have an IEC standard group that is formed on the back of this work we've done. Um, these were the papers, you're not supposed to read them, I just want to see how, just to picture our activity on, um, on Paris, on, on um, Cairns uh, paper sessions. This was our chairman, Mr. Koji, presenting at that, on that day. Quickly overview on our activity, we have 14 people in, uh, across the working groups. We have two people, members of the Australian Standards Committees. We have one person, one panel member working in the IEC committee and one in the IEEE committee. And there is one proposal for a working group convener for a new working group for, um, for B3. We had, uh, like David Peter mentioned, we had the technical seminar on non-SF6 in July this year. We had three main speakers from GE, Siemens Energy, and Hitachi. Our, our meeting, annual meeting, was held in, in Cairns. We had 50 people attending, 
and this week, last week, um, we had the great um, pleasure to be able to visit uh, Dr. Lee's uh, laboratory, and I would really like to talk to our new CEO about ideas of new ideas. A great facility in Sydney with very bright people. Um, we we had a look at the capability of this laboratory because we always do a site visit as part of our annual panel meetings. Um, panel, our panel meeting has 32 members and one NGN, and we have representatives across the whole country. And actually, we have BHP member of, of our panel. I will. Uh, finish my presentation today saying this is my last day. I was, it was a great honor to be part of B3 and I will continue to be a member. I finished my convenership today, but just as a one page, uh, as part of my six and a half years of um, being a convener, I have organized uh, with my team a substation conference in Hobart in 2019. It was very successful. We had multiple technical seminars, national and international held we had um, new, nine new members as part of our panel, and we always have our me panel meetings every year, one or two days. We issued two position papers as part of our B3, and we have increased liaison with AS, Australian Standards and IEC, and I cannot focus more on the importance of increasing activities, IEEE, IEC, Australian Standards, and within the panels themselves. I think we are so busy being everyone finishing their jobs, but here is the way we can actually work together. And thank you for your attention. Apologies, I'm late.